right, everybody, if you have been following my page, my journey for the last 13 weeks, then you know how excited I am for this day. I just finished my last workout from 80 Day Obsession. This is the end of 13 weeks of intense training. And I feel a day behind. Um, a lot of people were finishing up today as well because they started a day behind just based on schedules. But I got sick about two weeks ago. I didn't even realize I was sick. My body fights sickness really well because I have been fueling myself um, with ridiculously clean foods for the last almost six years. So whenever I get sick, it my body fights it off, but I ended up with a sinus infection and didn't even realize it. I honestly just thought I was fatigued from not getting enough sleep, and that's probably why I got a sinus infection, and just working really hard at the end of this program. And so when I last Thursday realized that I was sick and had to go to the doctor the next day, I'm not gonna lie, I was crushed, because um, I thought, man, I've been working this hard. And then when I started taking the medication, my body puffed up as a reaction, because I don't take medication. Uh, you know, antibiotics, I rarely take it, and um, the uh, other medication that they gave me to fight off the, you know, bacterial sinus infection that I had gotten, um, and then I started my period. Uh, but you know what I thought? It was like, I'm not going to quit, or I'm not going to throw in the towel, or I'm not going to get depressed or upset because of things that were out of my control, and I think so many people get so caught up with trying to be perfect, trying to... Uh, control the outcome and control the way things are going to happen and then when the first thing gets thrown in their way they just think that they're doomed or that this is their luck or and I realized that you know what I can't control life all I can control is me and I showed up every day even when I was not feeling well I showed up and I'll tell you my hundred percent was not the same as it was a month ago but I showed up and there was one day that I got about five minutes into the workout and thought, I can't do this and I went back to bed and I rested so much this past week, but I showed up and I didn't give up. And even though I finished a day later and I had a little bit of FOMO because everybody was posting their, I crushed it on day 80, uh, pictures and posts yesterday, I realized that I'm gonna finish strong, that my journey is my journey, and I showed up today, and yesterday when I pushed play, it was the first time in like over 10 days that I felt like myself, and the best part was it was cardio, which is not my strong suit. I do not like cardio. I am not super good at it. I don't um, enjoy it, but I did it, and it felt so great to be able to finish it and so these 80 days um, or 80 workouts that we have completed in the last 13 weeks have been incredible there was things in the first week were, that were so tough and really it isn't even about where I started 13 weeks ago I think about two years ago I was coming back from the worst time of my life where I was so out of shape so beaten down and broken down mentally and emotionally and Autumn is the one that helped me because she had a program that was coming out uh, that I was prepping for and my coach helped me get back on track and she's the one that helped me start my health and fitness journey and she just finished day 80 with yesterday and she's still here with me and that is what I just keep thinking about is that winners ever quit and quitters ever win and we're still here and I cannot believe what an emotional journey this is as I was watching everybody post yesterday that they were finishing up their the, the program and how emotional they were I thought I, I you know I am so proud of myself and it's been so amazing to see our friend Autumn be able to create another program that is her baby that she's poured her heart and soul into and to see our friend succeed at a, a dream and a passion what is so incredible but I didn't think that I would get emotional and then today at the end of the workout I mean literally we were down to the last rep and I was thinking like this is ridiculous everybody cried you know I, I, it's I'm happy and then I saw Autumn cry and everything just literally came together and I got emotional and that's the best part about this journey is that I have been abandoned with these people that have their own goals, their own dreams, their own obstacles. But we all have the same common goal and that's getting better and helping other people recognize that they can get better and helping them on their journey of ups and downs. Not perfection, but ups and downs. And then seeing Autumn who pours herself into us and she's just a regular person, but seeing how much she 
enjoyed seeing us thrive and enjoyed seeing us through the journey and she helped us through the ups and downs and we saw the ups and downs she had and it was just so incredible to know that we were done with the day day 80 but all of us were sad like we were crying happy tears for her but also you know tears of sadness that this was over but also knowing that this is not over we're going to start another round and then we're going to help other people as we've helped one another and that is such an incredible thing to go through 13 weeks of intense workouts mentally physically emotionally and seeing what we together as a group went through we went through so many obstacles together as a group but knowing that we don't want it to end like that's what's insane to me is i was somebody who never liked working out never thought that fitness was my my thing and i don't understand now when people say that i'm like how's it not your thing we need exercise we need to keep going we need to keep living we need to stay healthy so that we live a healthy fulfilling life but i was that person and now here i am almost six years into my journey and i just finished the most intense program of my life and I'm not ready for its end. I'm ready to start back up. And that is the beauty of this is that, you know, somebody said the other day when I celebrated my two year sobriety anniversary, they were like, do you really think you can, you know, get sober without support? And I'm like, absolutely not. Maybe you don't need to go to a meeting. You don't need to go to AA. Um, just like you may not need to go to a gym, but you need support. You need a system. You need tools to do anything that's hard, anything that's challenging. And Anything that you do that's challenging to you, that's outside of your comfort zone, um, is worth it. It's what doesn't, you know, challenge you won't change you. And if you're doing something where you feel completely safe and comfortable, then you're really not living. So, uh, I finished all 80 workouts. I crushed them. Um, I am so invested in my journey and helping other people, and I'm so happy for our our whole test group that we finished this together because I'll tell you a lot of people can do awesome things on their own but we weren't made to be alone and when you can celebrate the the ups when you can um, celebrate those accomplishments with other people who get it it makes it so much more enjoyable and it makes it memorable so that's the beauty of having a coach that's the beauty of having a challenge group that's the beauty of having a support system in anything that you do so anyways I'm super excited that I'm done with this I'll be sharing my final pictures and measurements um, sometime tomorrow once I get them together but I just wanted to encourage you to quit waiting that tomorrow is a Monday how many Mondays have you said you're gonna start and you don't let's get started we have the ability to work out together next week remotely um, and you can sample some workouts that Autumn's putting together to help you get uh, ready and see what it's like to work with her um, before uh, 80 day obsession actually releases in January you can get them free you can work out with me for free on um, November 6th through 10th and this is something that I really want to share with you because if I can do it certainly anybody can do it